Hi there, I'm Darren Williams from Python Bytes, and in this video, uh, it'll be a series series of videos. I've uh, got a weather station in my house, well, up on the roof of the house, and what I'm trying to do is to capture the signals on 433 megahertz. So I'll take you through the process that I've gone through so far to be able to decode the uh, signals from this weather station. So I've got this here, this console, and this tells me uh, what the weather is outside as well as inside. And I've got this, it's an RTL 820T2. So it's RTL SDR. So I'm using this to capture 433 megahertz and then capture it and then try and decode it on the computer. So I'll show you what I've done so far. So it might be helpful to you. Okay, so uh, to get started, so what I do is I go to GQ, I type in the dashboard, GQRX is the program, click that, open it. It's at 433 megahertz. And then up here, uh, start, I click that. And now we have our waterfall. So this is how I was able to find out where the signal is. Now, some people have said it's at 900 and two. So I go to there. Aha, there is a, the signal. So now I just click in the center. Okay. Okay, so 89800. Now what I worked out was 8, 9, 9. Zero six. Now it should be getting a pulse soon. There it is. So I roughly worked out that is the center of the frequency. So if I stop that, okay. Yep, so it's showing the frequency, and there is the center. Eight nine one six eight eight. There it is. There, that is the center of the signal. So, that is how I worked out what frequency that the transmitter is transmitting on. Four three three eight eight nine nine zero six. So, GQRX is able to help you find where that signal is, what the frequency is. There it is again. That's a bit bigger. All right, so now over here, you've got a record button. This will record the audio. Okay, so I'll click record. Now what I found is that the first signal is a single 87, uh, what would you call it? It gives off 87 pulses. The next signal is a double signal. It sends two identical 87 pulses. Uh, there's a program that you use which is RTL433 that helps you decode the signal. Now that is a double see that it is a double there's a line in between there a gap okay now I'm still recording here and the reason being is I've now recorded the double signal or pulses 174 pulses and now I need to wait for the next one which is a single pulse so we're, what we're doing is recording the audio and I haven't been able to 
uh, determine uh, what the distance is between each of the pulses you know whether it's 45 seconds 48 seconds there we go so now I've recorded both of these pulses the double and the single and now over here if I hover on record it says stop audio recorder so stop that and hopefully uh, where is this one 29 uh huh there we go 2016 August the 2nd that is the signal okay all right so I will leave I will leave you at this point there's another double okay I'll just stop that okay Alright, so that is how you can tell where, what frequency the weather station is transmitting on and how to record the audio. Now, the net, well the next step is to get that audio recording, import it into Audacity and then we can have a, a look at the, what, the pulses, what the pulses look like on Audacity. Okay, I'm Darrell Williams from Python Vice, and I hope this video has been helpful to you. There'll be uh, a series of videos on this, on how to decode a weather station that transmits on 433 MHz. So if you have any questions or comments, uh, please leave them below this video on YouTube, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. So in the meantime, goodbye.